technician and this is service call, sir, right? Okay. Okay, sir, so uh, you are in front of your home computer right now. I am. Yes, sir. So, sir, tell me one thing. What do you see on the screen right now? Uh, it's just my desktop. I had a, uh, a browser window up, but I, I've closed it. Oh, sir, yes, sir, close that, sir, close that, because I'm going to show you how many services has stopped inside your home computer. Right, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So, sir, just look down your keyboard. In the left-hand side, you will see a Windows key, just like a four-flag key, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I see that. Yes, sir. So, just press and hold it, then press R as a Romeo together at the same time. Okay. A run box appeared. Oh, okay, sir. So, sir, you have to type over there, EMS config. EM as a Michael. Can you, can you type, sir? Hello. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, sir. EM as a Michael. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, as a Sam. Okay. C as a Charlie. You can go a little faster. I'm, I'm understanding you well. Yes, sir. O as the orange. Right, sir. Yeah, I'll I'll just just keep going, and if if I get messed up, I'll yes, tell you. Yes, sir. I've yes, got I've got M N C O. Yes, sir. N as a Nancy. F as a flag. I as a indigo. E as a George, right? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. So, sir, can, can you tell me what did you type over there? It says uh, MS config. Yes, sir. Just click on OK. OK. All right. The system yes, configuration sir. utility appeared. Yes, sir. So, sir, just hold the line for a moment. I'm going to connect, connect this line to my senior, right? Oh, OK. Just, yes, sir. Just be on hold. OK, thank you. Thanks for holding on the line. This is Justin, and I'm the senior technician. How are you doing today? I'm good. Okay. What did you say your name uh, was, sir? Uh, yes, Justin. Justin Sword. Yes. Okay, so uh, I have you in front of your computer, right? I am. I have the system yes. configuration utility up. Okay, okay. Okay, then that's the one thing. Just, yeah, just below that system configuration, I hope you will see an option like general boot services setup tool. Can you see that just below the system configuration? Yeah, I, I see some tabs like that on the uh, on the configuration utility. And I want you to click on services. Do you know the services? Okay, just, uh, I see that. All right. Yeah. Okay, there's just a list of, uh, I don't know, maybe yeah, 25 things. Click on services. Yes. Click on services so that you'll see a bunch of services, the important services which you install in the computer manufactured by the Microsoft Corporation, right? Can you see that? Uh, yeah, there's one There's one by Google, um, but yeah. uh, but they're mostly Microsoft. Yes. Okay, and I hope you will see on the right-hand side a similar running and similar stuff, right? Can you see that on the right-hand side? I'm sorry, what am, what am I supposed to see on the right-hand side? Yeah, uh, on the right-hand side you will see some services are running and some services has been stopped, right? On the right hand side. Oh, the I right see. In that, like the status uh, column. Uh, well, I see uh, there's a lot of them that say running. Let me uh, scroll down here. Yes. Well. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Um, they, um, yes. I don't know. There's, there's, not a, can, there's not a ton okay, of things in here, but they all say running. Okay. Uh, okay, then let's do one thing. Just on the on the top, you will see there are status, right? S T A T U S. Can you see yes, on the top? I see that column. Yeah. Just give a single click on that. Click on status so okay. that you will see the services which is running inside your computer all together. Okay, click on status. Okay, I, d I did click on that. Uh, it didn't really okay, now, change much. Um, okay, now you will see the services which is running inside your computer all together, right? All running. Yes, all, all of the statuses that I see. 
uh, in this services okay. tab or have a status of running. Okay. Now I want you to scroll down. Scroll down at the bottom so that you will see the services which is stop running inside the computer altogether, like running, okay? okay. Just scroll it down. Okay, I've, sc I've scrolled down to the bottom of the list. It's not a, it's not a very yeah. long list. Uh, and it, yeah. it says running all the way to the bottom. No, if you scroll down, you will see the services which is uh, stop running into the computer altogether. Uh, I understand what, what you're telling me to do, and I, I've done that, but they, they are all listed as running. Like the last one is called workstation, and it's got a status of running. And if I scroll up in the okay. list, it's, it's alphabetical. Uh, automatic updates is the top one, and it's listed as running, and uh, so is everything in between. Okay, the next one thing, uh, on just on the right hand side, on the bottom, I, uh, you will see the status, right, which you have been clicked before, right? So just click on that status again so that you will see the services, which is stop running inside your computer altogether. Well, you, you just had me do that, and, and I can do it again. I guess it'll, oh, okay, so it, it did react like it like it was doing something. But if I scroll up and down in the list, they still all say running. Everything is running? Yes, that's what it says. Okay, then let's do one thing. Uh, yeah, just get, um, just get the system configuration as it is, all right? And just look down on your keyboard. Oh, you want, and, to, you want yeah. to close this thing? No, no, it's not closed. Yeah, it's okay. Just leave it, all right? Just keep oh, your, okay. uh, the system configuration as it is, yeah. And that's one thing. Just look down on your keyboard. Can you see the Windows key on your keyboard? I can. Yes. First of all, press the Windows key and keep it hold. Hold it down and press letter R. R as in rows together at the same time. Okay. okay. So the run box shows up and it's got MS config in it um, okay, from where yes, the, the exactly. first level tech had me type that okay, in. Okay. Now. Okay, now I want you to erase that MS config, make it blank. First of all, erase the make, uh, MS config and make it blank. Okay, okay done. Yeah. And now yeah. I want you to dive in your www.thought. Okay, just just keep going, and if I get lost, I'll I'll stop you. I've got www. Dot, three W's and a dot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And after that, Team Viewer. Yes and Tom. Yes and Eric. AS and Apple. MS and Mary. BS and Victor. IS and Indico. Yes and Eric. WS and Whiskey. Again, ES and Eric. RS and Rose. Dot com dot com okay okay boy you remind me I can I can go for some whiskey uh, okay I've got uh, www dot team viewer dot com yes okay now just below that I hope you will see okay I cancel browse right can you see that I I can yes now I want you to click on okay just click on okay okay all right so my browser is opening uh, and it's Okay, so it's gone to a, a white and blue page that's got a big blue button, and there's kind of a big blue banner at the top of it that says Team Viewer. Okay, yes, and it does look, now it's also on the right-hand side. I hope you will see a man in front of the TV, in front of the computer, right? And that's right, that on the right a, a man that needs yeah. a shave. Yeah, and just above the picture, I hope you will see an option like Take a tour, download, support by About Us. Can you see that? Yes, yes, I can see that. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Don't click anything, all right? Just move your cursor to the download so that you will see an option, okay? Move okay. your cursor to the download. Like a little yeah. menu pops down. Okay, now can you see any option? Uh, yes. Uh, all downloads, integrate your logo, yeah. uh, mobile, yes. previous versions, yeah. change yes. log, and version 11. Yeah. Yes, okay, so now I want you to click on previous version. Click okay. on previous version, okay? Okay. So it's taking me yes. to a different white and blue page. Um, yes. And now just links. look, yeah. Yeah, just look on the right hand side again. I hope you'll see an option like version 10.x, version 9.x, version 8.x, and version 7.x. Can you see that on the right I hand? I see that. 
Yes. Okay, so now I want you to click on version 7.x. Version okay. 7. Yeah. And I hope now you will see a big changes on the left hand side. I oh, yeah, it yeah, did. I didn't notice that, but I see that now. Okay. You'll, on the left hand side, you will see on the top uh, version 7.x, and just below that, you will see Windows, and just below the Windows, you will see an option like Team Weaver, Team Weaver Quick Support, right? That's right, I you see, see that. that. Yeah. Okay, so now I want you to click on Team Weaver Quick Support. Click on that. Oh, okay. Are you doing this on your Thanks. side, or do you just have all that memorized? Sorry, sir. Do you do you are you going through the web page on your side, or do you just know? Do you just have all that memorized? You you know right where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. So just I uh, give a single click on team. Uh, yeah, yeah. Team okay. Weaver Quick Support. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So it downloaded it. Now I use Firefox, so it's uh, like in a, uh, it's in my download list right now. Okay. Uh, can you, on the bottom, can you see uh, downloading uh, any, any, anything uh, on the bottom? Well, it's uh, I use Firefox, so it's um, it's in a list kind of off of the toolbar. Do you, do you want me to run the thing that we just downloaded? Yeah, click on Run. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, so and it's now it's running. It, okay. I think there it is. is anything, just oh, there it is. Just let so it uh, oh, it's got uh, it came up with a little box uh, that has uh, your ID. Uh, I assume meaning my ID and password. Okay. And now, can you please confirm me the ID? The nine digit ID? Oh, you want me to tell you the ID? Okay. Uh, six, eight, five, four, seven, four, eight, zero, seven. Okay, let me read it back for you, okay? Six, eight, five, four, seven, four, eight, zero, oh, seven, right? Well, yes, it's a zero, but uh, yes, you got it. Yeah. Okay. And now, can you please confirm me the four digit password? Two one five zero. Okay. Oh, okay. Something's happening. Oh, it's connecting. Can you see that? Um, well, it says session list. It looks like it's yeah. connecting to something. Uh, oh, I okay, need now a your, update. Uh, now, can you see your goals are moving inside your I screen? I can. It's pretty jerky, but I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Now your system has been successfully connected to our main server, right? Okay. So yeah, I hope you we will see here um, the ID and the path, uh, the ID, right? Can you see it on the bottom okay. of the right hand side? Yes. So this is my team viewer ID. Okay. Okay. Now, can you please hang on for a second? Let me transfer this call to one of my senior technicians so that uh, we'll explain you and guide you and everything. Okay. So that's oh, one okay. You're doing so right? good, Justin. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. But sure. Yeah, that's fine. Hello. Thank you so much for staying online, sir. This is Nancy. How are you doing today? I'm good, Nancy. All right. Uh, and can you see that your computer successfully connected to the secure department? This is my computer ID number on the right-hand side. Can oh, you okay. See that? Yeah, just right. now, Justin did that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Now I'm going to show you all the problem. Um, after showing each and every problem, we will fix all the issues. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to show you all the issues. I can see over there, you've already checked the security, which has been stopped working on a computer, right? Yes. Uh, the, the first person, I'm not sure what his name was, um, had me open that up. <coughs> okay, okay. Now, uh, let me close this. I will show you first the license key, which is registered to the main server. Like when you purchase the computer, the license key is registered to the main server, and, and this is registered under your name, Jack, right? Okay, that's, that sounds right. Hi, yes. Yeah. All right. Now, you can see that, and this is your computer username, right? Yes. Okay, just for a second. So what's all that stuff? <laughs> These are the license key, all the stuff. Doesn't even look like it's English. There's some English words in there, but <laughs> yeah. So, 
Can I ask you a question? Like, you are the only one user of this computer system, right? Yes. Okay. And generally, what do you do on this computer system? Like, what purpose are you using this computer system? Oh, uh, well, this morning I got my health insurance short, sorted out. Um, I, uh, I shop on it. Um, I, uh, I do a little bit of writing. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, web browsing mostly, really. I guess that's probably most of it. So you are the only one user of this computer, right? That's true. Okay. Uh, I can see over there right now you are using a Microsoft Windows XP Professional, right? And yes. this is your system <coughs> name. Um, computer Pardon? is manufactured on 12-1-2006. So this is a very old computer, right? Well, yeah, it's it's kind of old. It does seem to work well for me, though. And I've, yeah, got, yeah, some, uh, I've got some games uh, that I play once in a while that uh, they don't uh, work on newer versions mm -hmm. of Windows. So I'm, I'm yeah, kind of happy where uh, I'm at. Oh, uh, yeah, even I already see that your computer screen. And right now you're using a Microsoft Windows XP Professional. This is also a very good computer. Like after making secure the network line, even you can also use this computer more than 7 to 10 years. This is not a wet okay, computer. Great. This is a very good operating system. Yeah. Great. They, they told me that I needed to get Windows 8, um, but uh, I've, oh, no, no, I've no, used it and I, I don't like it. Yeah, because, uh, and apart from this computer, do you have any other devices which is connected to the same network line? Um, any other computer? Other well, laptop I've, got a, I've got a, a phone, and I think it can connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, Mm -hmm. Or no, I think that might be uh, Bluetooth, like to, to get contact off of it. Um, uh, yeah. So not not really. I guess this is per, is pretty much the, the deal. Uh, okay. Can you see the drivers, the system drivers, right? I can. Oh, uh, yeah. The type of the drivers, kernel driver. Now let me check all the running together and let's start together. These are the running drivers. Let me scroll it down so you can see these are the stop drivers. So you're not aware for that, like there's many things stop working on a computer system, right? There's many drivers and the security has been stopped. And I hope you understand that like drivers and the software is the important part of the machine. If these things are not working properly, your computer will be not working properly. So these drivers are out of date. If we will install these drivers, the new drivers, so you can use this computer more than 7 to 10 years. Don't try to purchase a new computer because you can face the same issue because right now the network line is not secure, right? Oh. Um. Yeah. Well, okay. This is the main issue. Because if you are going to buy a new, com new computer, the network line is not secure. So you can face the same issue. But if I make the network line secure, you can use this computer more than 7 to 10 years. Can you see the stop services? Stop, uh, yeah, I can. Stop, I can stop. see where it says stop. Or I guess that's and I hope, yeah, I hope you understand that these are the important part of the machine. The services, software, and the drivers are the important part of the machine. If these things are not working properly, a computer would be not working properly, right? So now let me check okay. what kind of file they are putting on a computer system for damaging your software, for damaging your drivers, all right? Let me check from my side, okay? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to run one of security scan. Now it's super I, in I, uh, I really, I don't want you to install anything on my computer. No, 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 I'm not going to install anything. This scan is only showing you what type of file they're putting in a system, how many times they are registered with your license key, okay? So okay. this is only showing you how many times they register with your license key, how many tongues file and viruses they are putting on your system. So can I ask you a question? Like in these days, are you having any kind of issue? Like sometime your computer is running a bit slow, your internet gets stuck. Are you having any kind of issue on no. your computer? No, it works great. Um, about a year and a half ago, my nephews were over, uh, and they installed okay. some junk on my computer, and it was awful. But I. There's a, a guy that lives in town here that uh, sorted that out for me, and he told me to be mm -hmm. careful not to let people install things, mm -hmm. um, because yeah, that's, that's how they, they pile that. up. Um, mm -hmm. 
understand this thing. Okay. I understand this thing because. It, it looks, like, uh, you're but it looks like you're installing something. You're installing something right now. Look at that. Yeah, it said yes. install progress. Okay, let me close that. Let me close that down for you. All right. But this scan is that's, only. That's bothering me a little bit that you said you wouldn't install something and then I watch you do it. Huh. Ah, because this scan is showing you how many junks and viruses they are putting on a computer system. That's why. Well, all right. Okay. All right. Let me check the reliability on this computer system. Okay, can I ask, uh, uh, hello, are you there? I'm here, I'm still here. Okay, can I just stay online for a second? Let me check to my network technician. Um, can you see on the right hand side message, update are ready for your computer, click here to install this update, right? Yeah, that's fine to update those. Uh, that's part of uh, Windows, so should I should I go ahead and uh, yeah. have it do that while you're you're getting this other guy? No, no, we will do it for you. But okay. first of all, let me check from my side. But first of all, I will run one of the scan on this computer system for checking who the hackers are using your computer. Like how many suspicious people using your computer system without your knowledge and without your permission. So I will run one of the scan that is DIR slash S. This is a directly scan on this computer system. With the help of this scan, you will check all the IP addresses, how many hackers, how many viruses running on your system. All right. So let me check from my side. Uh, can you just stay online for a second? I'll be back in a moment. Well, okay. uh, for a little bit. I, I don't have all day. Okay. okay, okay, all right. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, that's, yeah, this scan is completed. Can you see that? It's right? Oh, boy, what was that? And okay. The yeah, the local address and the foreign address. This is your computer username. Okay. The local address. And on the foreign address, these are our username, our user address. That is Steam Weird, right? Right. Which is going to be established with your permission. But can you see some other... Four, four local li local hosts. There are four unauthorized users also connected to your network line without your permission. So these four are unauthorized people, which is using your computer IP address without your knowledge and without your permission. And that's the main reason we made a call to fix the problem. And because of these, even you can see that your most of the drivers and most of the security has been stopped, right? What do, what so does you know, what does local host mean? Yeah, uh, these are the unauthorized user which is using the local host. The, uh, these are using the local host name, but these are the unauthorized user. They are using your license key from the different, different locations. Oh, so they're, they're not the local, they're foreign? Yeah, they are not local address. This is your local address, right? These are not your local address, but these are using your computer license key, and even they are also successfully connected. It, it's, the same, it's the same numbers, look. The four, that yeah. four top lines, that last four numbers, it's the same in both lists. They're in different order, but no. it's the same one. No, can you see that? Uh, uh, can Can you repeat once again? I can. I can see what you're doing. Okay, so you can see that these four are the different IP addresses. So these are the illegal user which is using your license key for illegal purpose. And even because of this, you can see that your drivers and software stop working. And let me tell you one thing, like you are lucky that you are still using your computer because if someone else using your license key, they might be trying to access your personal things. 
like if you are doing any kind of personal things any kind of email banking any kind of personal thing so that is not secure right now so as we are maintaining the windows server we have to protect your computer so let me tell you one thing for protecting your computer for making the license key that is going to be one time charge for that so that will be okay for you before doing anything i will let you know that will going to a one time charge for fixing the computer so that will be okay for you so that i'm going to start working on a computer H how much of a charge okay that will cost you 135 for fixing the computer 135 oh i see for the last that all right so that will be okay for you so that i'm going to start working on a computer so if you want to fix the issue i will start working on a computer i will assign a network engineer he will fix all the issue so can you tell me that will be okay for you or not uh no i don't think so that's that's quite a bit of money and uh the the mm -hmm. computer uh, has been working great so okay. I, I don't all really right. i'm on kind of a fixed yeah. budget so okay okay all right that's up to you that that is your computer right so that is your wish right no one can force you for fixing the computer okay so i'm going to out of the computer i can show the king view right in password so i'm going to out of your computer now okay all right um thank you so much for your time have a blessed day bye bye okay bye bye